Hey, Soldier7 here, and uh, as you know, I'm doing another video like this, which was similar to the last month, uh, but it was with the Battlefield franchise. Um, this time I'm doing Call of Duty this month, and of course, as you know, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of the Call of Duty franchise. I think it's... Personally, I think it's overrated, gets too much attention, and they come out every single year, and despite different weapons or story or location or whatever, it just feels all the same to me. So, you know, truth is, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Call of Duty franchise. I mean, yeah, sure, I did like the earlier games, like 1, 2, 3, and 4, but as a whole, I don't care for the franchise. I, I don't really like it that much, but uh, nevertheless, I decided to try doing this through, uh, try doing what I did last month with Battlefield, but with through Call of Duty this time, and not only that, I think I did a video last year asking about conflicts and timelines of Call of Duty, just out of a curiosity, it was just a quick video, just a curiosity. And the question I wanted to bring up, just like last month with uh, the Battlefield franchise, I did a video, what about Battlefield Korea? Well, in this video, my question is, is what about Call of Duty Korea? And when I'm referring to Call of Duty Korea, I'm referring to the, you know, the Korean War, or at least the fighting that took place in the 1950s. Uh... I don't know. I mean, for the Call of Duty fans, what's your take on it? Or for people who are just, you know, don't hear a lot about Korean War games, you know, like, like the fighting that took place in the 50s. Um, what do you think about that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's weird because, like, the Call of Duty franchise, and I don't want to go too deep in the the Call of Duty franchise in general, I just want to focus on Call of Duty Korea, but the thing is, is like, it's, it's always the same thing, I mean, like, they started out, when the franchise started out, it was World War II, then they moved to Modern War Fair, and then they went back to World War II real quickly, and then they, they went to Modern Warfare, um, Black Ops, which was different, which was like different periods, and then it got futuristic, space age, and then they go back to World War II, which was what, in 2017, I think, Call of Duty, because that's the thing, I don't play every single Call of Duty game, and when I do, I usually play them like late, I just borrow them and try them out. But yeah, after uh, Call of Duty World War II, when I heard about it, after a while, I started thinking, what would it be like if Call of Duty were to make a game based off the Korean War? Technically, the Korean War is not necessarily over, but I'm talking about, you know, the fighting that went on in the 50s, you know. So I'm just curious, you know. And even though I'm not a Call of Duty fan, personally, they would kind of get back into my good graces if they did make a game like this, because, I mean, how often do you hear about, you know... Call of Duty, uh, well, not Call of Duty, I mean, games that are based off the Korean War, you know, I mean, nowadays it's just mostly, like, World War II, Modern War, and Futuristic, at least that's how it seems to me, not that I have a problem with that, but sometimes I think it's overdone, and when sometimes people go back to do other wars, I mean, yeah, there was World War One with Battlefield One, I guess. I didn't really play it that much. But you know, uh I don't know. I mean like I said, I'm not even if they did do this, yeah, they would get back to my good graces, but it wouldn't change my personal opinion about Call of Duty, but like I just think it would just be an interesting idea instead of just going like from modern warfare to World War Two to futuristic or you know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm sure you do. But yeah, I'm just curious, you know, uh, what about Call of Duty Korea? Do you think it could be a nice idea? I don't know. If you're a Call of Duty fan, let me know. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for today. Soldier 7, take care.